to get started. Woo, your girl would have been a baller. Today's Saturday, August. It is August 10th, guys, and your girl is getting ready to film a video. So, hey Siri, do the walk that thing by Lauren Hill. Yo, yeah, so, yeah, it is a Seth Pampering Saturday. Um, I think I want to do my lashes. I remember when I went to this beauty event um, for women last year around this time. They gave us like a whole little package with like some goodies in there and they had like some lashes in there and I've never done lash extensions or lash, none of that. So I'm scared. It's like a little kit that you can do your lashes and stuff with. So I might do it, I might not. I don't know though, y'all, I don't know. Your girl is like a strip lash girly, so you never know. Halfway done, y'all. This is literally like the second bundle my head is little, so I don't really have a lot of space. He's so loud on that game. It don't make this that much sense to be that loud. I just feel like if he turned his headphones down. But so far, 18 to 16, water wave. And y'all, I will be doing like a separate video and giving y'all all the specs on this hair and all the details. And y'all can see me do my install and just all of it because today is a self pampering day. I was going through my boxes or whatever and looking at the makeup that I have in there and stuff that's like not even open and stuff that I don't want. I already got rid of a lot of stuff that I didn't want when I first moved here and I really haven't done no makeup like since I've been in this house or whatever. Literally like no makeup for real. But yeah, yeah. This is a self-pampering day. So you girl just thinking about doing some things for me. So y'all, your girl has finished her sewing. I look cute. So freaking good. This was the wet and wavy hair. Y'all will see the video. Probably already saw the video, but I haven't did an outro yet. Um, I really don't feel like doing an outro. I'm ready to eat, but this is what it looks like. I love how it looks so freaking natural. Everything just looks natural. It's just some middle part. So on the sides, I didn't like braid all my sides and stuff i can like swirl it and all it but i just wanted the natural look i don't want no like hard edges and like whole natural giving classy yeah i tried to get my part straight as possible but it came out cute to me i feel like i did a sew in um i think 2016 and i haven't been doing like my own sew ins since then, I just feel like it ended up turning out cute and natural looking, which is what I was going for. It turned out cute, but make sure you guys check out that video if you have not. Make sure you check out the hair video. Um, yeah, right now, I'm pretty tired and I'm hungry and I want to watch this show. I've been watching this show called Ruthless. I just started watching it yesterday, so it's pretty good. And so I want to watch it. Whoop, y'all, your girl is back. I'm just doing something very light and literally not going to put that much makeup on. I just wanted to go ahead and do my intro today because I really want to like dig into my looks that I have this current month to read and I actually have some more books I need to finish. Like those books that I had bought, I started them. I started them, but I didn't um, finish them. So I want to get this work. Yes, I want to get this out the way and then go down there and begin doing some reading. I found it and I put it inside of my drawer on my bedside table so I can just read at night. I want to get one of them lights, them little reading lights. I did want to put a little makeup on and start my intro, y'all. I'm going to fully sit down and do a video. I think I already showed y'all them Ulta products that I had got. I don't know if I did, but I got like a foundation and concealer from Ulta. And I did want to do like a video with that. And I will be doing a video with that actually. But I didn't feel like doing it today. Because I already had to do this video. So get this out the way. 
You know what I'm saying? I need to set my camera up right. I know I just be having it to the side, but that's because I don't really have my setup all the way together right now. Cause I'm still like getting this room together. So this is the NARS concealer. Creamy radiant concealer. This is the shade. Walnut. I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Beauty powder. So y'all, I'm gonna start actually getting back to putting on clothes every day and um, not just days where I gotta film and stuff, but I'm gonna actually start trying to do that. You know, still stay realistic to who I am and stuff, but you know, actually get up and put some of my clothes on because I be wanting to dress up again and put my clothes on every day like I used to always do but your girl kind of don't be in the mood but i'm starting to get back into the mood of doing everything and my room is starting to come together so i'm starting to feel it <laughs> you're like makeup but i like am going more for the look like i got it on but i don't got too much on you know what i'm saying like that's your girl vibes these days this is all the makeup I'm going to do today, y'all. I ain't even do no bronzer. I don't feel like doing no bronzers. So, <laughs> this is all the makeup your girl going to do today. This is what we're going for today. I was going to, like, put my press-ons and everything on, but I'm going to just wait. On Sundays, I like to clean up, and I don't want all that messing up my press-on nails. So, y'all know the jury, you know, zeal. And there you have it, guys. Okay, I gotta go so I can hear you get this look on my camera. Y'all, today I did want to tackle my makeup area. I went ahead and like put some stuff inside of these. Just some Q-tips, some of these little sponges. But I want to like decorate this and tackle this today and just organize my makeup. I was gonna be or whatever. I did start over here on this stuff, but I didn't really do the most. This is the stuff that I already had in my room and I still have some stuff inside of these boxes that I need to put over here. And yeah, I didn't really disorganize everything. I only put like a couple of things over here, like put the purse and a couple of little shoes because these are the stuff that I already had in here. My other stuff is like in my closet, so I would have to go get that and actually bring it up here to like showcase it or whatever. I did some stuff with the sunglasses, but I think that I'm going to get like some little holders. I ain't no think I am going to get like some little holders because I feel like it'll look way better. I'm not going to leave this like this. This has been like this ever since I was trying to see what's going on. This I just took out of my thing or whatever. I need to organize this, but I want to get like a little holder. So I can hold the stuff on top of there. I'm still thinking like, should I organize it like smallest to biggest or should it be like color thing? Because when it comes to these sunglasses, I didn't color range nothing. I pretty much tried to put the same stuff that's kind of like either the same size or the same thing. These two are the same. This one is different, but they're all kind of like big. These are like glasses that you can see through these two frames are the same just different colors and this one is big but clear frames just like those these two same type of shape like visor um down here i really didn't do too much of what's what because <laughs> a lot of these are different the only ones that's kind of like similar are these two at the front but everything else is different and i have more sunglasses than this so i just wanted to I only showcase these ones because these are the cute ones to me. These are the ones that I really like. I don't really know how everything's going to go, but I know as far as like the head accessories and stuff, I want to get something that it can be cute and like showcase something because this is really freaking bomb, y'all. And I actually got this from, um, I think I got this from TJ Maxx or something, but I got this and it was like maybe like $20 or something. It was so freaking cute. Really, really cute. I only wore it like once. This can really get taken off. So it's just a lot of stuff that I got to do. A lot of thinking about how everything needs to be and all of that. Um, I don't even know if I'm still going to leave this stuff up here because I feel like this needs to be in the beauty part. And so today's video, y'all, 
on this Monday, I'm gonna try to tackle my makeup organization station with what I have now. And then when I get like the extra trays and the extra storage part, I can just add to that. So let's get started. Okay, y'all, so I have cleared everything that's what's going to be clear right now. I need to go ahead and pull out these boxes. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and do the girls' lunch and stuff. And then I'll be back. Okay, y'all, so I am back. And I'm getting ready to do some makeup organization over here. I have some of my makeup stuff. A lot of stuff I have thrown away when we first moved here. And I have recently thrown away even more. I want to start this off by saying... Look at what happened to my freaking Fenty foundation. Like, it's to the point where you can't just even wipe it off. It's just messy. Um, Yeah, so, got to go in the trash. It's so messy, y'all, to the point where it didn't fell inside of stuff. It didn't spill on other stuff. So, I got to wipe that stuff off. So, yeah, we got to throw Miss Fenty away. This is one of my everyday, like if I was to wear makeup every day, this is one of them foundations. So I'll be getting that again. It's not a biggie, but I am kind of sad that I had to throw it away. I actually should probably start with that makeup bag because it'll probably be easier. Got some makeup inside of here. This is like one of my travel bags when I'm taking makeup. If I organize everything, put everything that goes with everything, it'll be easier. Powders foundations, primers and stuff. That's pretty much how I'm gonna do it. I gotta clean these bottles out of this stuff that's spilled on here. I'm gonna just take everything out. So I pretty much think I did a good job with throwing everything in the trash because this is pretty much all my makeup. And your girl used to have tons of makeup. So this is pretty much all of my makeup. And um, I think I'm gonna be able to organize it perfectly. I still do want to get like shelves and everything, but yeah, let me wipe everything down. Okay, y'all, so I pretty much finished cleaning everything and I found this. This is like a tray that I used to like keep some of my makeup in and it has like little storages as y'all can see. Pretty messed up because makeup been splashed in here and spilled in here. But you can wipe it out, but it's pretty much stained and I like this little container. So I'm going to keep it, but it's not going to be like on showcase. I feel like for me to be able to have this on showcase, I definitely need to like paint this or something because it is good for like storage purposes and it gives you like more space or whatever. So I think I'm gonna just put some of the makeup in here for right now. Big palettes, they're not gonna be able to be in there. To put this in here. The only thing with this is if it's too tall, oh, it's good, it's good. I do wanna buy like some different organizers to go in here. I kind of just wanna go all with the like acrylic look. Yeah. And I'm actually proud of myself because like your girl used to be like a makeup, like a real makeup girly, like really had all the makeup products too much. I'm glad that I got rid of a lot of stuff so I can just make room for more things. <laughs> I was thinking about putting like foundations up here. I just don't want to get messed up, but I'm going to buy some cleaner stuff 
specifically for this. I switch so much stuff up so much because I get tired of looking at stuff. So I already know. I don't know. I really want those containers like today. I used to have these like these little things like this, like but they were like square or whatever. And I used to put all my concealers and stuff in there. And I got rid of those. So maybe I shouldn't have got rid of them. But I wanted a whole new look, baby, a whole new vibe. But we finna go ahead and move on. I think in this drawer, I'ma just put like lashes in here. These lashes, the box got all bent up because they've been inside of a box, okay? But these are the lashes that I had got. If y'all saw my haul, I got these from the sheet in. They not like dramatic, but you can see them, but they like natural. So I'm putting these in here. I got these ones. These are like some, I guess you do lash extensions with it. Uh, I want to literally buy organizers for all this stuff. This is for right now. These are the down lash house. So freaking bum. I love their lashes. And got these right here. So wispy. I think these are beauty supply lashes, honestly. That's how this is going to look. I think I told y'all when I was thinking about doing my lashes because when I went to this event, they gave us these. And they also gave us the bonded seal stuff. So I was going to try to do my own. I don't know yet though, y'all. I already know how I am. And then I just always have this duo lash glue, so... This is like no specific order, guys. I know that I switch things up a lot. So I'm just trying to get a vibe, a feel of how I want things to be. And I actually want to get some acrylic holders in this drawer so they can look nice. So you just pretty much got to play with it and move it around how you want it to look. And I want stuff to look a certain way. So I already know I'm going to buy some holders for this whole thing. Because I don't want stuff sliding around. You know, I have these glitters, Tequila Cosmetics. And these are some that I kept. I feel like I would actually use these for something. Rather that's my nails. Or what? Well, don't look at my nails. But I feel like I would use these for like my nails. Or maybe just for like when I want to do a glitter look one day. I have these. And I also put the pigments from Jala Rue in there. And those pigments are really good. Y'all, this case was filled up with uh, glitters because I bought like this whole blue collection that she had and it was just filled up with like those glitters, like thick glitters. But I only kept a few of them. I threw the ones I knew I was gonna want away. I've never used none of these besides the these and like one of those glitters. Everything else I pretty much just have. We put these down here as well because they're kind of like, a, you know, you use them for your eyes or whatever. And I don't want all this stuff all over my drawers. So we just gonna put that right there. We just put this NYX glitter primer in here as well. These are holders right here. So the girl could really put the foundation right here. Like that. I feel like that's more sleek and more neat. Primers, they can just all go together because I kind of just buy the primers as I need them. But you guys, I don't have many powders no more. I used to have like a smack load of powders. This is even almost gone right here. So I'm gonna just put this in here. Fenty powder. Um, I got rid of the other Fenty powder because it was just too bright. So I got the um hazelnut. I got this one. I guess I got rid of some stuff. I guess I just was throwing stuff in the trash because I could have sworn I had another one of these. So if it end up popping up out of nowhere, y'all will see different on the next video when we when I actually show y'all everything put together. But this is how it's looking right now. Put this match that trio right here. This little holder that I got with the turning. It's just too big. Well, it's not really that big. It don't look too sleek to me. But this will go in here. That's. This looks okay for this for right now. So here's the new concealer. I think I'm gonna just leave this newer concealer out here. Like that. Skincare stuff. This can go up here. This is kind of like an eyeshadow crayon thing. This could probably be showcased too because it's not opened yet. Herbal Body Moisturizer. Okay, we just gonna put some moisturizers on top of here. This is Hyaluronic Acid. And then we have the other Bubble uh, Moisturizer. This is the NYX Brightening. I know I'm gonna use this. This is just like a mini one. I put it in here with the other stuff that got to do with all of that. <laughs> got a little mini Fenty Gloss Balm Lipstick. Take that out the box as well. See, what I really could do is just leave this stuff inside of the box because I feel like it look okay looking inside of the box for now. 
Okay, guys. So now we come to the big problems. Pencils. And then we have like brushes. Here's the little brush thing, guys. I end up putting this up here just for right now because I just feel like it won't look cute or nothing inside. Kind of size down and put only a few little brushes inside of something and have it up there. But we don't do that when we do that. But right now, this is how everything is looking. I'm going to just put highlighters and bronzers and powders inside of this drawer as well. So that's what that's looking like. I don't have many of the lipsticks, but I do have like some gloss bombs. I'm gonna put them in there for right now just because it's not that many of those. Eventually, it's gonna be a lot of them. We got some blush. I'm gonna put the blushes in here as well. Like all the face products, I just need to pretty much put inside of that jewel. And then when it comes to like the pencils, that's my whole thing. Cause sometimes these pencils be making like a mess on stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do when it comes to like the pencil situation. I wanna get something to be able to get the pencils to put them on like a little dish thing. Cause I guess what I used to have at the old house. I used to sit all of the makeup pencils inside of the little thing. I don't even know. I don't even know right now. But I know exactly what I'm gonna need for my room just by me already like organizing and putting stuff together. The foundation is okay, but I want to like actually put my lips glosses and lipsticks in and then actually have something to put like my concealers in and then my pencils and then like these. I'm gonna get like some drawer organizers. So that's gonna be my next thing. And it's just all a process and I'm just letting y'all see the process because it's all gonna come together, baby. So I wanna get something that's smaller and compact for my brushes. I can eventually put it in one of these little things and I'll probably put it over here and then ended up moving this somewhere else. So yeah, this is just for right now, guys. And let me see how this might look over here because this is all skincare. So that even looks okay, but then we have like this little part right here, which is where I say I'm gonna probably put like brushes in. I don't know, but this is good just for day one, guys. This is okay for day one. It will be more days. <laughs> Gotta get organized because I only slide when you open your drawer on like that. All it moving around. I need everything staying where it's supposed to be. All right. But this is that. We do have this and it does like have little cubbies in it. Right now, I could put like, you know, little pencils in there. So this hit for right here. That's how we're gonna have it. That's how this gonna look. That's how this gonna look. And that's how this gonna look for right now. So yeah, you guys, that's pretty much how I am doing the whole vanity part. I'm gonna get more organized, and so we will be having another part of organizing and then another reveal, okay? But that's pretty much how everything is coming together, okay? Slowly but surely. I'm so happy that I don't really have like a big massive makeup collection anymore because your girl really just put on, do her little quick one too. I do wanna get more lipsticks and more stuff to like fill up everything, stuff that I actually wanna wear, stuff that I'm being intentional about buying, not just getting it because it's a new release. Because previous years, your girl just like, ooh, 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 and it just, build up build up build up they never will use it give it away because i've never used it and so i'm trying to be intentional with what i buy for my room for my home for my life I like how this came out you guys so freaking cute so freaking boom um i just like the whole little white aesthetic in this room what it's given part one part one of organizing my makeup decluttering space and then i will be coming back again with organizers and doing the whole big shebang.